Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tanya June Moore. This is the Sedona International Film Festival 2020 live stream. Thank you so much, Sedona Advertising Agency, Broadcast Rentals, and the Sedona Rouge for making this live stream possible. And once again, we have somebody very familiar at the Sedona Film Festival in the seats with us. Introduce yourselves and your film. I'm Lars Fuchs, director of Zugzwang. And I'm Laura Bennett, producer of Zugzwang. So, um, Welcome back. To Thank the, you. This is your first time here, first right? First time, yeah. But you've been here. This is my second time as a filmmaker, third time overall. Yeah, and you're a resident now, basically. It's true, <laughs> yeah. I've caught Red Rock Fever, and uh, I purchased a house here last summer. So how, why is it this film festival? You know, what is it that makes you come back year after year? Well, uh, so many different things. Uh, the filmmaker hospitality is exceptional. Um, I'm so grateful for that. Um, the food, the lodgings are really exceptional, the parties. So uh, you really feel very well taken care of as a filmmaker. And it's a very highly regarded film, film festival that's been around for you know almost three decades now. So it's a very prestigious place to have a film uh, be a, an official selection. Yeah, and this is your world premiere. It sure is. Let's watch the trailer so we can get into it a little bit. Your boyfriend turned you into a dancer. You prance around the board, cat and mouse. If you're going to destroy me, you destroy me. Is that for a dance move? Draw? No draw. First question out of everybody's mouth, what's Zuzwang? What's that even mean? <laughs> so Zugzwang is a term from chess, uh, originally a German word, and it means a, a move that you're forced to make, uh, but leaves you worse off than you were before. And does that uh, really represent the film? I mean, do you feel like that's the story of this film? I think it, the first answer, does it represent the film? Yes, I think it does. Is it the story of the film? I think you have to see it to decide for yourself. But. Um, you know, it's funny about the title, Laura and I, we struggled, or actually I struggled and brought Laura in to help and Brady, our writer, because I noticed that there are a couple of other films with the same title, and so I wanted to look for a more unique title, but after a long time, we just couldn't, we just couldn't find anything better that really summed up uh, at least sort of the touchstone mood of the film. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know that it, it's necessarily the story of the film, but there is this sense of entrapment and compulsion and uh, struggle that mm -hmm. I think Zug Swan captures well. It's a soft film where you, in, in a beautiful way, was this part of your production? Is that what you were looking for in that? Yeah, I, I mean, I suppose it's a soft film. It's, it's, it's heavier subject matter underneath. Yes. I mean, it's a very fraught relationship. It's, it's, it's a it's a really uh, intense bond yes. that the main two main characters have that we see over time. Yeah, um, and that's sort of where the title comes from. That we we really wanted to keep that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with production, uh, we had a nice time on set. It definitely wasn't. It was a fun set. It was. A, we tried to keep it light and keep mm -hmm. it keep it. Uh, yeah, keep it, well, you got a lot out of the actors on this one. I mean, yeah. they really brought the nuance. And I know that you have one actor that's blowing up, uh, the young man in the middle. Yeah, the, yeah. the second Sasha is played by uh, Clark Furlong. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, he's now starring on an HBO series. And I just heard from his mom that he's got a new project coming up that's still hush hush. We can't even talk about it. I don't even know what it is, but they're very excited about it. So I think, yeah, you should keep an eye on him. He's uh, he's going to be a big star soon, I think. And he was he was really wonderful and quite an accomplished chess player too, oh. uh, as we discovered. As was the youngest actor, uh, uh, Reed. We they're got both really lucky. They're that, both. Like, they were all chess players. Yeah. So. Well, it was uh, yeah. sort of luck in. in you know, one of those things because they heard they were interested in the project because it was a yeah. chess-related project. So both of those young actors were excited to be involved in a chess-related project mm -hmm. that they're both really good at. Did you? I mean, did you consult with someone who was a? I mean, are those moves real? I Absolutely. Uh, I really want to thank uh, Christian Wooded at New York Chess and Games, a, a chess shop in Brooklyn. Christian is uh, an ex excellent chess player himself, but he also coaches a youth team and has coached several youth champions. Um, he voluntarily helped us out. Uh, he, he actually read the script and chose famous games mm -hmm. for each of the phases of the, of the film. So yeah, they, the chess moves are, are very um, accurate and true to chess. In fact, I was very flattered because after the screening yesterday, one of the audience members who is himself a chess player complimented me on getting the chess right, which was something I was very nervous about because even though we had a very carefully planned out sequence of chess moves in the editing, I wasn't sure if it would get lost or confused or if something had gotten out of order or something, <laughs> you know, because we were, of course, in the editing more concerned about keeping the emotion in the story. And so if something maybe moved out of sequence on the chessboard, we wouldn't necessarily have, have worried about it. But I'm glad we got it right. How was the screening yesterday? Oh, it's great. Oh, that, yeah, it was really great. It yeah. sure was. Yeah, super nice. Did you have some good questions from the audience? Really did, actually. And that's another reason you asked me what makes Sedona special, uh, the audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very flattered to see an almost completely packed house. I thought there was maybe two or th two seats open, which was really flattering. And the audience was really engaged and asked some really interesting questions. Mm -hmm. um, one pointed question was about, you know, how can one interpret the message or theme of the film? And... Um, I kind of left it up to the the audience. I said, you know, I mean, of course, once you put it out there, it's out of my, on a filmmaker's hands. And one gentleman offered a really beautiful interpretation about how the film captures a kind of circle of life across generations. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, that's really nice. So I told him I'm going to start using that from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and where can people keep up with the film? What's your social media and and website? Uh, com. Uh, Zug Zwang the film is Instagram <coughs> and Zug Zwang the movie Facebook? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of places for you to keep up with this film. Uh, the buzz was really good last night. We've heard a lot of people talking about it, so I wish you all the luck in the world, of course. Thank you. Uh, stay tuned, we'll have another live interview right after this. Uh, our hashtags this year are Sedona Film Fest 2020 and Sedona Film Fest 26.